this morning, an all-out sprint to the finish line. Hello, Florida. Hello, Florida. President Trump wrapping up his weekend in Florida. where he hinted he'll fire Dr. Anthony Fauci after the election. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. I appreciate the advice. The president holding five rallies in five states Sunday, including North Carolina, Iowa, and Michigan. Does anybody have a coat I could use, please? This is definitely not the right one. The president also speaking to voters in Georgia, a state he easily won in 2016. I shouldn't even be here. They say I have Georgia made, but you know what? I said, I promise we have to be here. Joe Biden is promising to postpone the vaccine, delay therapies and turn America into a prison state. Lock it down, locking you in your home. And Trump calling out the Supreme Court after it ruled against blocking a three-day extension for receiving absentee ballots in Pennsylvania and North Carolina. Let's give them an extra three days and let's take all the time you want. You know, people want to know, and you know, bad things happen in places like Pennsylvania and Nevada. We love Nevada, but you have a governor there. Bad things can happen. That little intervening, let's take plenty of time. No, that's a, that's a terrible ruling for our country. I don't care. It's a terrible ruling. The passion surrounding the race now spilling into the streets. <laughs> Trump supporters seen disrupting traffic in several states over the weekend, halting traffic on highways in New York and New Jersey. In Virginia, a 40-mile Trump caravan on I-95. Look at this. They're like literally escorting him out of town. And the FBI is now investigating this incident in Texas, where a caravan of Trump supporters surrounded a Biden campaign bus. The campaign claims the vehicles trying to, quote, slow the bus down and run it off the road. President Trump tweeted video of the caravan with the words, quote, I love Texas, and called the drivers who surrounded the bus patriots. You know, they were protecting his bus yesterday because they're nice. So his bus, they had hundreds of cars. Joe Biden on Sunday in Pennsylvania accusing the president of dividing the country. In two days, we can put an end to a president that has failed to protect this nation. In two days, we can put an end to a presidency that has fanned the flames of hate all across this nation. Biden also delivered a blistering critique of the president's response to the pandemic and his foreign policy. He's Putin's puppy. That's who he is. Donald Trump's not strong. This makes me angry. Donald Trump's not strong. He's weak. He commands virtually no respect on the international stage. And now some star power joining the Biden campaign. We're almost there. We need to talk. Today, Lady Gaga joins Biden for an event in Pittsburgh. One day when the glory comes. And John Legend, set to make an appearance with Kamala Harris in Philadelphia. 